Hello, in this session we will talk about understanding update statement. This is Hassan Mir from 02protraining.com. We are taking these lessons in context of SAP HANA database. We are using SAP HANA Studio client to connect to the database. We have seen select statement that we use to retrieve records from the database. You specify which columns you want to see from which table and which records you want to see. You can use WHERE clause to filter records. We have seen insert a statement that is used to insert records into a table and in this session we will talk about update statement that is used to update existing record or records in a table. Later on we will talk about a delete statement which is used to delete records from the table and all these statements select insert update and delete are part of a data manipulation language which is a subset of SQL. SQL stands for Structured Query Language and this is a universal language which is understood by all relational databases like SAP HANA, Oracle and there are tons of other like MySQL etc. I'm connected to the virtual desktop from SAP and I'm using SAP HANA Studio to connect to the SAP HANA database and I have created three tables so far course student and student underscore course and let's take a look at the data we have in a student table so that we can do some modifications okay so the best way to take a look at the data is right click on the table name and click on open content and this will generate a window where you can see the existing data in the table let's say Bill Gates has reported that his date joint is wrong in the system it is not supposed to be 10th February 2012 the correct date joint is 11th February 2012 so how are you gonna fix that you need to run an update statement right click on this tables node not on the table name tables node and choose SQL editor you can issue SQL commands in SQL editor this will open a fresh window I have so many windows opened here you can see 23 and that's not good I'll need to close some extra windows so that is what I'm gonna do later on offline but uh, you can do the same thing if you have lots of windows open you can close the ones that you do not need so this is a fresh SQL window here I can issue my update statement an update statement is pretty simple to understand you have an update keyword in the beginning and then you specify the table name which table do you want to update obviously we are updating one record or in some cases you might want to touch more than one records but they all have to belong to a table okay in our case we are updating table student and then you specify another keyword called set and now you are telling the system what do you want to modify I want to modify the column date joint and I want to set the value in this column to if I go back to the previous window you can see existing value and date joint is 10th February 2012 I need to change that to 11th 11 February 2012 now default date format is YYYY four digits for year 2012 then MM two digits for month 02 and then DD two digits for the date 11 so what will happen is all the records will be updated if I run this date joint will be changed for everyone because I'm not filtering the record so the bottom line is that you can use where clause in your update statement just like you can use a where clause in the select statement and this where clause is optional so if you do not specify the where clause everything will be updated all the records will be updated if you specify the where clause then only those records will be updated that fulfills your where clause criteria so we can say where ID equal to 002 keep in mind that for table names and column names like date underscore joint and table name student you can optionally specify the names in double quotes but in case of text values or varchar values like ID and date joint you do not have a choice you have to specify them in single quotes so if you generate a statement uh, from the system like how we did by right clicking on a table name generate and 
you can generate insert statement for example then you will see all these names are in double quotes okay but this is we are manually writing this statement so we can be a little bit flexible on the same note the case of keywords doesn't matter where could be in uppercase or lowercase doesn't matter spacing doesn't matter as well you can write the whole update statement in one line or in three different lines you can have 10 spaces between update and the next word which is a table name or just one space at least one space or a new line character is, is required to tell the system that these are two words so these are the basics uh, that is there in SQL just like in most other languages so keep in mind these assumptions in coming sessions as well so now we're gonna move forward I can put semicolon in it at the end and issue this statement I can run this command by clicking on this green sign let's see what happens I clicked on this green sign twice it doesn't matter because uh, we are updating based on the ID so system has updated twice so end result is the same you can see the statement was run successfully now we need to take a look at the data and the table I don't have to go back to the table right click and say open content I can go to the previous window and click on this refresh button at the top this will refresh my data and once you refresh your data you're gonna see that date joint has changed to 11th February 2012 for Bill Gates because we issued the update statement to do that now if I go back to my SQL editor where I wrote update statement two more things you need to understand you can update more than one column in a single go meaning here I am updating a value in date joint column and within the same update statement I can say okay change date joint to this and change last name to this so it will do the modification to both the columns for all the rows that are selected by the WHERE clause okay so let's go back to the tables data let's say Hassan Mir has reported that his date joint was wrong as well he didn't join on 15th January instead he joined on 16th January okay so here we go and where ID equal to 1 because we want to update record for Hassan Mir and also he said his last name was re reported wrong by the system his last name is not Mir Mir is the first or sorry the middle name the last name is Sayyid let's say okay so now the point to note is both columns will be updated for only this record by one update statement I ran the update statement I got the error and it tells you the location and the best possible position for the error if you can see there's no column last name in the table the column is called L name instead okay so that was a problem let me fix it and let's rerun the statement and this time I don't see any red line so this is successful point to note is if you are updating more than one columns there is a comma okay so set keyword is used only once set this column equal to this value comma that column equal to that value if you have more than comma otherwise we don't put comma in the last set that we specify where and then you put the where condition if there is only one condition then you say this column equal to that value and there is no comma in the where clause keep in mind if you have multiple conditions you use and to join or or to join them together okay so let's go back to the previous window and do a refresh before the refresh you can see Hassan Mir Mir is the last name and 15th is the date if I do a refresh Sayyid is the last name and 16th is the date 